Hey guys, this is Sridhar from NVIDIA at CES 2014. Uh, NVIDIA launched the brand new Tegra K1 processor, which is a 192 core uh, processor that supports next generation uh, graphics features. Uh, Tegra K1 brings our Kepler GPU architecture to mobile, and what Kepler delivers is not only amazing performance, but you know, exceptional energy efficiency and next generation graphics features like OpenGL 4.4. Uh, to demonstrate what Tegra K1 can do, let me launch a demo here called the Faceworks. And what we are showing here is a photorealistic rendering of the human face. Rendering a human face is a very challenging problem and uh, it requires very accurate modeling of the human eye, the skin, the reflections of the skin. And that is only possible with next generation graphics features like you know tessellation, subsurface scattering, global illumination, and all those features are brought together by Tegra K1 in this development platform. Here you can see that as the light is shining from behind uh, Ira, we call him Ira, it's actually you know, uh, permeating through his ears, it's like reflecting off his skin, there's a nice sheen to his skin, makes it look very real. And if I zoom in on his eyes, this is the most difficult part. And here you see the eyes look almost you know, real, like he's looking at you. And so you may ask, like, how does this run on a current generation processor that supports only OpenGL ES3.0? So if I were to turn off the 4.4 features, and you can immediately see this looks like a computer animation. It doesn't look like a real person. Uh, so there is no shimmer in his eyes, there's no reflection, the skins look very dry, and as I move around, it's a very flat lighting. It's not dynamic lighting. So now if I turn back OGL 4.4, you can see the eyes come to life, his skin comes to life, it looks like a real person. And if I hadn't told you that this is a rendering, you would say this is a video of a person looking at uh, you. So that's the power of Tegra K1, and you can expect to see games with this level of realism and graphics features coming to mobile devices uh, pretty soon. And uh, Tegra K1 is not just about the GPU. There are two versions of Tegra K1. There's a 32-bit version that runs a quad-core A15 processor with a fifth battery saver core. And there's a 64-bit version that uses our custom CPU design, which uh, uses ARM V8 uh, licensing. And uh, the 64-bit version will come out later this year. I'm really excited about that, and that will bring desktop class applications to mobile devices.